Hey everybody, it's Mike here from the We Rent Shop and welcome to another Mechanics Manifesto. So this week there's, uh, this week a lot's been happening, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, the main win has been a couple viral videos that I posted on both TikTok and Instagram Reels. I'm getting comments from all over the place about the one video in particular, toolboxes have wheels for a reason. So I just wanna talk about this video a little bit. First, I wanna play it for you though. Toolboxes have wheels for a reason. As technician X happily wrenches away, in walks the cranky service manager. This engine better be back in there and running before lunch or else. Find a fat piece of shit, rusty bucket son of a eating motherfucker. For people that don't work in the business or have never worked at a dealership, it might be hard to understand. But the car business is, you know, there's a lot of pressure. The dealership environment, it's an absolute pressure cooker. And sometimes, as a technician, something happens and, you know, you're asked to work for free or you have a bad week, a bad couple weeks. You know, you don't get any gravy jobs, you just get the bone jobs, as we used to call it. So, uh, you know, and working on cars alone is frustrating. Sometimes you want to bash your head against the wall with this stuff and you just want to scream. So, that technician freaking out is, uh, is characteristic. You know, you have to have a lot of patience to, to do this on a daily basis. The intro, Toolboxes Have Wheels for a Reason, that was told to me by an old timer that was sort of counseling me through a very tough time when I was considering uh, leaving one of the jobs that I was working at. He said to me, Mike, these dealerships, they need you. You don't need them. You could go work at many other places for the same car line. You could switch car lines. You can go work on trains. You can go work on boats. You can do anything. They need you. You don't need them. Toolboxes have wheels for a reason. So when everything at the dealership goes to hell or you have uh, you know, bad management, whatever, it's affecting your paycheck, you wheel your stuff out and you go someplace else. So that's where that comes from. Now the hostile technician, yeah, you know, sometimes management, uh, you know, they, they push you, they push you, they push you, and you just want to scream and give them a piece of your mind. So that's the freaking out technician. That's where that inspiration comes from. Uh, you, later on in the video, you know, you see him wheeling his toolbox out, AKA the cranberry snap-on cart. He gives the old Matco card a good uh, reverse mule kick. That's been my calling card. A lot of people like that about my videos that the old Matco card gets a little bit of abuse from time to time. But what you'll see here is me rolling my cranberry snap-on card out and then it tips. Now, I did not mean to do that. That was a total accident. It was a total blooper. I would never, ever, ever tip over a snap-on cart or a snap-on toolbox fully loaded just for a video. Because like most technicians, I love my tools. I love my equipment. I worked very, very hard to be able to afford all this stuff. I would never put it in harm's way. The camera was rolling and over here on this property, you could see that there's, it might be hard to see, but there's quite a substantial downgrade for drainage. The driveway slopes away from the building and what happened was just the top drawer, I didn't lock it, stupid me, I didn't strap it. The top drawer started to open and then one thing led to another and the cart gets tipped. So. One of the comments I'm getting is, what happened to the car? Well, here's what happened. There's definitely some road rash on the drawers. Uh, you can see the corners here. Uh, you know, the, these drawers, uh, this car definitely has a tough powder coat. Plus, fortunately, I have my touch-up paint, so it won't be that big of a deal. I don't think, I, I don't think that I bent any of the drawers. I think I maybe have bent a slide or two. There are these parts that I came across 
Uh, the ball bearings definitely came from a drawer slide. This other plastic piece, I don't really know. Fortunately, the card is okay though. So, uh, you know, I had a blooper. It was a horrible, horrible experience. It was absolutely miserable trying to get this cart back up, especially by myself. I had to use the cherry picker, as you can see. And as I was pulling up on the handle, the drawers just kept opening and stuff dumping out. So I basically just had to clean it all out and pick it up with the cherry picker, roll it on its side, and then pull it up. And uh, you know, it was horrible. I was very, very upset. But you know, sometimes you have to take a miserable situation and you have to do what it takes to make the best of it. So the theme of today's manifesto is this. If you wanna succeed, you have to learn how to turn shit into sugar. All right, shit into sugar. That is how you get ahead in life. That experience that I had out there, I mean, I, I wanted to give up, to be honest with you. It, it was 100 degrees outside. I was out there picking all my stuff up, up off the floor. It was absolutely miserable. I, I just felt really, really low at that moment. But I started to comb through my camera footage that night and I saw that I caught it on camera. So I said, you know what, how can I use this blunder? How could I take this horrible, horrible situation and use it to my advantage? Well, I said, you know what, let me, let me put it in the video. Let me put it in the video. Let me see, for, I was explaining, I was explaining this to my wife. She was like, why, why do you want to put that in there? And I said, because to a technician, Anybody in the automotive field or even an enthusiast seeing something beautiful like a snap-on box or a snap-on cart tipped over like that, it's like driving past a car accident with a fatality. It's so horrifying that you can't help to look at it. And you know, the whole point of short form video is to get views and to get engagement and to keep people tuned in for as long as possible. So it's just so weird that that occurred that way, how that cart tipped at the very, very end of what I was supposed to be filming. So that's the basis of success, people. Your best resource as not only as an entrepreneur, but as a human being. A lot of people think that you need money, you need connections, you need talent and all this other stuff to succeed. You don't. Your best resource is resourcefulness. So don't ever forget that. Part of having a great deal of resourcefulness is taking a situation like that, like that disaster, and turning it around to work in your favor. And I certainly did because that video is one of my best performing videos that I've put on TikTok and Reels so far. It's doing fantastic. It's about to break a million views on each platform and it's been not even seven days, so it's doing fantastic. Take the road less traveled and learn how to take a bad situation and maneuver it to your advantage. If you can do that, not only will you be unstoppable, but you will be dangerous. You will be dangerous. A dangerous man is, is somebody who can take any situation and use it to his advantage. So go out there and do likewise. Go out there and do likewise. Don't let bad situations thwart you. Don't let them make you give up. Don't let them make you quit. Find the little bit of magic hidden in that disaster and turn it around and make it work for your favor.